All right, we're back out August 2024. Hopefully a better outing than last year in Seeker Peak. I don't know what that is. That's, that's good that you don't know what that is. We are here in the South Chilcotin Mountains, um, August 7th. About to head off for seven days through the Alpine and uh, a few different little routes here. Feeling excited, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, feeling pretty, a little bagged. Mouthful of smart sweets. I'm drooling a little bit. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now this is a ridge line we've been chasing. We're feeling so tired, so happy. So gonna find a campsite pretty soon. Patty. I am gonna try Spanish paella, which apparently Scrap. sucks big time, but you know, I brought some extra spices, so. We hit about 16 kilometers the first day. Climbed up here onto Fortress Ridge. All right, we got coffees in hand. Matt is here. And I'm gonna go check out um, what's happening over the ridge line here. Now I'm thinking that maybe we're summoning Castle Peak by mistake, so we're gonna check the map book, but I mean, it's like incredible, incredible views. A little more precarious in here, so we're just uh, taking it nice and easy. And do a little route funding so we're pretty sure we're going we're dropping down now and then going through and cutting up over this saddle and then we'll kind of be in the valley under castle peak before we wrap around there this is like 
have just arrived at the happiest of places in Yelheim. This is why I come here. And also to say, I just keep touching my ring all day because um, our first trip up here was after I hadn't walked for five years, barely. And that was kind of the end of my long rehab journey. And so it's like so incredible still to be on these wild bridge lines and uh, it's really crazy, so here it is. <laughs> There is there are three oh. grizzly bears yeah. kicking around. Step on, the, step on that rock. That one? The one right in the middle, in the water, that one. That one? Yeah. No, it'll be good. <laughs> this is not a trail. This is a trail. Well, I can't, I mean, what the, Matt, I'm flabbergasted. We like, that's where we came from, that saddle over there. And it's like wild. It felt like we went about a hundred yards, but looks longer. Last year when we were here, we ran into a group of, I think, mountain bikers or hikers that had a birthday banner. It was awesome. And they had just run into three grizzly bears. I'm pretty sure a mother and two sows. Mother and two, so, a sow and two cubs? Yeah. Is a sow a mom? Okay, so not a mom and two sows, a mom and two cubs. And so I don't know, maybe the same mom with two new cubs, who knows? Anyways, we're headed down the saddle to our next Bit of a decision point here. It's starting to rain. We started to get a tarp out to kind of hold up, and then it kind of stopped. Now it's kind of starting. It's kind of starting. I think we should. I think maybe we'll get another tarp here. Pretty sweet moment happening right now. We are at relay call, and uh, that little bit of rain came over us, which caused us to stop and set up a tarp and. As a result, we didn't climb this next uh, little rise that we were planning to because it started to get a little late. And at the same time, we're looking at the map thinking, oh man, we're like way behind where we thought we'd be today. Like, I was pretty bummed in the moment. Uh, kind of frustrated that we weren't getting as far as we hoped. And then we both uh, felt like, I think we're just supposed to stay here. And then a few minutes later, um, separately, Matt and I both felt like, um, yeah, I just felt like the Lord was kind of nudging us to stay here, stay here, like make camp for a few days. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing and we're kind of scrapping the plan and we're going to hang here uh, for three nights and then I think unless something changes, but that's what we're thinking now mm, and have some really sweet time just like day hiking around ridge lines and sitting in the quiet and this is like an unbelievable place to do that in. So 
yeah, we're just a little, uh, um, I think, uh, pleasantly surprised and feeling God's kindness in stopping us for a moment feels purposeful. And we're really excited for what the next few days might hold. Rains have come. Time to get out of here. Just got a little clearing in the rain clouds, so we're gonna do a quick jaunt up to this uh, ridge by Relay Call, Relay Call, and then come home for dinner. This is my absolute favorite. This is, I love it so, so much. Good night. Well, I came up here to make coffee for Matt in bed. <laughs> and now I have a double nosebleed, which I don't know that I've ever had before. But now's the time when I'm in bear country. And I tried to wash the blood off my hands in a creek nearby. And I'm anticipating 65 grizzlies to come strolling up the canyon now to meet me for coffee. It's really good. We've made a rapid decision to go to Graveyard Pass, which we don't know exactly. It's somewhere this way.
This is very hard. Every step you're gonna sink in a couple inches. <clears throat> oh, hey. Mm. Welcome to Little Graveyard Pass. We think we're at the summit of Mount Davidson. We were uh, just bunking into Reed for a bit here, but now we're looking overhead and within the last five minutes, quite a few dark clouds have started to form. So we're gonna get off the mountain pretty quickly and back to camp. Oh, the hail's come. Hell no. After a rainstorm, all the greens just start to pop. Uh, when you look at it on this, because all the soil turns dark and uh, everything else gets contrasted, which is kind of cool. So oh, here we are one last night in the Relay Call Valley in an unexpected spot for the last mm -hmm. three, maybe four days or whatever it is. Yeah. And uh, it's been unbelievable. Filled with so many adventures and uh, yeah. So many ridgelines. So many ridgelines. Yeah. yeah. So we'll close out our time here at Relay Call and head off on our way back to the starting back to the vehicle tomorrow mm -hmm. but it's been beautiful we'll miss you really call goodbye really we love you big kiss little kiss big hug little hug Spotted the grizzlies again, right where we left them. Yeah, it's just that this time, it's right where we have to go in a little bit here, so. All right, so <clears throat> the grizz are just like right where we need to be, and this valley's pretty narrow. You can kind of see like bottlenecks through where we need to get to, and the grizz are feeding just kind of all through that area, so it feels pretty not great to go there. So we're gonna go back up another mountaineering route um, we're kind of making it up as we go a little bit, but we think there's some ridge lines we can hop around and hopefully skip over this valley altogether. So, uh, we thought this was like a really simple 9k today, and now it's gonna be a little adventure. But feeling thankful Matt saw the grizz before we got down into the valley and had any surprises. Well, grizzlies ended up being about 50 yards off the trail, so I think this is the right move. We're back up to Relay Call, our old friend, and uh, gonna make our way over top of this little pass and get back over to Grizzly Pass, which I think is like, this is how you pass the Grizzlies. We misread that. We misread it. A lot of work getting around those grizzly bears. <laughs> Hello. 
We made it to Castle Pass. Just shy of six hours. All right, we got to Marmon Ponds and the thunder's rolling in and we're only like a few kilometers from the next campsite, which will put us in easy car distance tomorrow. So we're going for it and we may also get stuck in a little thunderstorm. So we'll see. Back at this camp by the creek out of the Alpine. I hiked about 18K today and I feel tired. So I'm gonna go fly in the tent now. Okay, we're heading out from the little creek camp and should just be a couple hours to the car, we think, unless there's grizzlies or snakes. So here we go, last little hike. 